its own people. Bill Crystal, does the U.S. have time now for a long-term project? Well, the long-term project is what President Bush tried to do and made some mistakes doing, and which could have been done, I believe, if we had left, left troops in Iraq, and especially if we did intervene to stop the Syrian civil war from getting out of control, as it did. I don't know that with a Syrian civil war now metastasizing into Iraq, with a possible independent or, or, or semi-independent Kurdistan. Kurdistan's not a problem. Independent, semi-independent, de facto independent. The problem is Al-Qaedistan, the ISIS or ISIL, depending on which acronym you like, controlled territory to the north and west of Iraq, and then Iran controlled Shia South. That is really a terrible security situation for the United States, a terrible geopolitical situation for the U.S. and its allies. Obviously, we have to have long-term plans and strategies, but I think there's a short-term there's a huge short-term crisis here uh, which needs to be addressed. You say it needs to be addressed, but it doesn't seem like the American people are terribly anxious to address it in any capacity more than they are right now. I want to read you the latest results from a New York Times CBS poll which asks about President Obama's response to the crisis in Iraq. And you can see there only 29 percent of those polled say they want to see the U.S. do more. So, Bill, how do you convince the American people that the U.S. should be taking a greater role in Iraq when clearly, clearly they don't want it? I remember seeing polls like that, uh, John, early in the 90s in, in the Balkans. No one wanted to get in. Bush and Baker didn't want to get in. Clinton and Christopher didn't want to get in. We did the right thing finally after too many people died. We got in. We stabilized the situation. It's not going to be easy this time. It wasn't easy in the Balkans. We've let it go so far, and especially the Syrian civil war. We can debate. We should have left troops there in 2011. I think that was a mistake by the administration. But once the Syrian civil war got to the, has gotten to the, as, as out of control as it has gotten, it's harder to stabilize the situation. But letting uh, you know, ISIL dominate huge swaths of Iraq and Syria, letting Iran dominate the rest of, much of the rest of Iraq, I mean, the implications of that regionally and globally, as Secretary Kerry and others have said, Ryan Crocker, the former ambassador, said, don't kid yourself. If there is an al-Qaedistan in, in northern and western Iraq, that's a threat to us, not just to the region. Uh, that's a terror base. So I don't think we can, you know, the public is ambivalent, as they always are, but I think we need some strong leadership here from the president. The president has said, uh, Tommy, that that is a threat to U.S. interests. If ISIS does set up, which they have already, frankly, in Syria and Western Iraq, it does and can and will threaten U.S. interests. So, again, it just does beg the question, if it is a threat to U.S. interests, how can you change the situation there on the ground? Because, frankly... I don't see Al-Qaim or Rutba or any of these Sunni cities that have fallen to these ISIS militants deciding they want to kick the Sunni militants out in favor of a Shiite government. Yeah, look, I, I agree with you and I agree with what Bill said. I mean, I think you cannot allow an Al-Qaeda safe haven because we saw 9-11, what happens when you do so. That said, I don't believe that the American people support uh, another U.S. troop presence in Iraq, uh, even at a level like 10,000, which is what was discussed uh, with respect to a residual force. So. The answer is going to take some time. We all need mm -hmm. to be a little bit patient here. It's going to require building up the Iraqi capacity to fight for themselves. Now, the president was clear. He's moving assets into the region, uh, carriers and such, and he left open the possibility of targeted airstrikes. Mm -hmm. But it's not as easy to, to take an airstrike as, as just deciding to do so. You need great intelligence about where the ISIS leadership is, uh, what their command and control sites look like. Uh, and you need to make sure you're minimizing any civilian casualties mm -hmm. to make sure you don't turn that population against you. Tommy Veter, Bill Crystal, I appreciate you both being with us. A very Thanks, complicated Tom. situation. Not a lot of good decisions uh, seeming possible right now. Thanks, guys. Sure.